It's a huge undertaking, but Dr. Richard Novak with the University of Illinois at Chicago is looking forward to the challenge. UIC's Novak will lead Chicago's first clinical trial for the COVID-19 vaccine. I think it's a great thing that Chicago is being included in this research. It should be because we're, uh, we've been a major epicenter of the uh, pandemic. The human trials will begin July 9th for a vaccine developed by the biotech company Moderna. While 30,000 people are expected to be tested nationwide, UIC will be looking for about 1,000 volunteers. 400 must be older. It's uh, going to aim at people over the age of 65 and people with some underlying chronic illness like high blood pressure or diabetes. Because of the high rate of COVID among minorities, researchers plan to test a large number of African Americans and Latinos. Half the people in the study will get the vaccine and the other half will get a placebo. While UIC is the first to announce clinical trials for the COVID-19 vaccine, three other Chicago area hospitals are likely to be conducting their own trials very soon as they're working with other companies who are in the race for the vaccine. Northwestern Memorial Hospital is one of them. Dr. Babafemi Tawu says clinical trials are expected to begin in August. COVID vaccines are being fast-tracked in what the Trump administration is calling Operation Warp Speed. Tawu says the unprecedented speed of development has no impact on safety. You want to design it in a way that it's safe. You put the best scientific information on paper and you're trying to advance it into human beings. That part is still very rigorous. Dr. Tawu says bureaucracy is why vaccines take long to develop. For COVID-19, he says the red tape, not safety, is being sacrificed. But timing on all this will depend on how prevalent the disease is while conducting the trials. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.